Hello folks, this is Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade. Today we are going to talk about the most famous and the most traded instrument among traders, that I know of at least. Of course, I'm speaking about oil. The reason for being this particular instrument so popular and traded is because we all understand oil, because we use this in our daily lives. Whenever we go to a fuel station we, or any of the gas stations, we use oil to fill, in, to fill up our cars. But among traders, there's always this confusion that which one to trade. Because on one hand, we have Brent and then we have WTI. Both of these, they follow pretty much the same trajectory. When it comes to physical differences, which we're not going to go into much detail, the only thing that I can say is that Brent has more sulfur. But the actual difference from trading perspective for investors and traders is that two-thirds of oil production follows Brent price and it's only US oil production which is you know, defined by the WTI price. So you can say that it is the Brent price which has a major influence because two-thirds of oil production, this is what it is representing over here. And there's always a premium between them, both of them. Like I said, but both of these, they follow pretty much the same trajectory. Whether if, if, one go, uh, if, if oil prices are lower, both of them are going to continue to the downside and vice versa. But the most important questions for investors are A. What influences, what factors really matters when it comes to oil prices? So firstly, it is the global economy. If we are not facing a situation where recession is heading our way, then you know, it is pretty good for a global economy. It is positive for oil. If global economy continues to boom and it continues to improve, it is a good sign for an oil price. So we could see more increment in oil prices. However, in a circumstances that we are seeing, in a situation like what we're seeing today, where coronavirus has a massive, massive impact on a, on a, on a global growth, you know, and recession is sitting on our doorstep, it is certainly not positive for oil prices. Doesn't matter whether we are talking about Brent or whether we are talking about crude. So they both are adversely impacted, hence it is reflected in oil prices. The second important element is geopolitical uncertainty, which by an extent, to some extent, it is created right now because of coronavirus, but usually it is the unrest political unrest over in Middle East, which creates immense threats to oil production. And whenever we see any sort of a threat to oil, traders have their qualm with respect to supply, being deprived, and hence we see improvement in oil prices, and of course, vice versa. But the third is something which we call an oil war. And it usually erupts between OPEC, the cartel, where Saudi Arabia always is in the driving seat, and on the other side we have Russia. The disagreement between the two and the compliance element once they do have an agreement remains on the forefront among traders when they are really talking about the supply war. Right now we are facing for one because both countries cannot form some sort of an agreement, hence we have an excessive supply in the market and it is only going to amplify going into next month. But nonetheless, the three factors as I discussed, health of the global economy, geopolitical uncertainty and supply war. These are the major factors which really influence the price of oil. Now, I believe that you understand the major differences between the two different derivatives, of one being crude, the other one being Brent. But one thing is for certain that both of them they follow the same direction, 
and it is really a matter of a choice for traders which one they are really going to trade more. There's always a spread between the two and that remains a very complex uh, strategy and that's a very complex question uh, which we will certainly address in later videos perhaps at some stage but right now I think if we understand that oil is the most famous and traded instrument and both Brent and WTI follow the same trajectory and the factors which really influence the price is the key over here. So going back to our earlier discussion where we talked about the difference in prices, you can see the chart in front of you is, a for, is for WTI known as crude oil and you can see that crude oil is trading at 22.54 right now. If I change this to Brent oil, which is right over here, you can see Brent is trading at a little bit higher price. It is trading at 25.60. So let me bring this chart right over here to show you. So you can clearly see that there is a bit of a price difference between the two. And obviously we've discussed that, you know, the Brent it represents which part of the world and crude, meaning the WTI, represents the US only. So overall, the point that I wanted to really wanted to illustrate is that right over here in around this territory between 2nd and 3rd of March, right? You can see clearly that Brent has put its highest high on this particular time frame. And I have purposely have four hour time frame in order for us to have more uh, like for like comparison. Now, similarly, if we bring crude oil chart right over here, you can see that there's literally no difference in terms of a price action because we have we uh, at that particular point in time we had a higher high forming exactly around the same period as you can see from here between two second of march till third of march so this pretty much explains that okay when crude puts higher high or when uh, crude marks its highest point on any particular time frame it is the same for Brent as well. The same concept goes for the lower lows as well and of course for the trend as well because you can see from crude oil price chart that we are forming, we form the lowest low at in around 1600, right? So obviously the, the times are uh, there for you to look at on the 17th of, of March. Now if I bring Brent oil, you will see it's exactly the same scenario obviously brent being the leading in terms of a price you can see that the sell-off is coming over here a little bit more intense in terms of a price action the the candlesticks charts uh candlestick chart for this particular one and this is slightly only slightly different but not much difference at all with, with that respect because the overall trend is still to the downside